Hello everybody, welcome to, I don't know where I am, I can't be news to you though, right, it's, oops, sorry, excuse me, hello, we are in Starvice, Starvi, something, not exactly sure how you pronounce it, we just got dropped off here at the bus station, how you doing, what are you looking at, you put your eyeballs on me, anyways, yep, so we got dropped off here at the bus station, this is, uh, I think this might be our new place here, what happened was, well, Mrs. Jockey, Mama Jockey, she uh, basically, oh, excuse me, sent me over here from Meadow Grove to look at this place that she saw online. Turns out while I was on the bus over here, she bought the place. Uh, so I showed up in town with, what, $101 in the bank? And this outfit right here. So think what we're gonna do uh, Jockey Inc is gonna turn this into a dairy farm we're gonna we're going global but anyways we got uh, I think she called it the, the brown chicken brown cow farm how about that look at what we got here looks like we're gonna be in the cucumber business too so let's see we got cucumbers here cow pen there With some straw bills there that's nice um, looks like seed and fertilizer storage, liquid fertilizer silo, how about that? That's pretty good. We had one of those on uh, Jockey Inc at Woodshire, I like that thing. And this is something. Ah, this is our grain silo, nice, very cool. Very cool, alright, let's close that bag up. Uh, geez, there's greenhouses everywhere. One, two, three, four, five greenhouses. All right. So yeah, what we're going to do here is mainly we are going to focus on chickens and cows. Brown chicken, brown cow. We're going to have eggs and a whole, whole lot of milk. And yeah, we're going to, we're going to diversify. So that's the plan here. A pretty neat little, I guess this is the chickens. Hello? Oh. Yeah, this will be the chicken pin. Close that up. So everything looks like it's in pretty decent shape over here. We got a little bit of work ahead of us, but, uh, eh, you know, getting some bushes out of here, some grass mode, get it cleaned up and looking nice, but um, functionally, pretty close to working. Like I say, I uh, don't have very much money, but. Uh, Mrs. Jockey told me to, to go see the bank in town. We would, they'd float us a little bit alone there. So I was looking through a catalog last night on the way over here for the local dealer in town here and started adding up some stuff that I'm going to need. And oh boy, all <laughs> those numbers get real big real quick. So I think uh, right at first, I'm just going to get the essentials. We're going to get what we need to do to have the greenhouses up and running and I'm gonna get a well, obviously we need a tractor and I'm gonna get a water tanker so the first things first you know we'll get those up and running we will get some sort of money being made at this place um, not gonna spend a whole lot of time here this is just a short bus ride down the road from Meadow Grove where where we are with farmer men so I told him I was going to a Milli Vanilli concert and I think he believed me so um, uh, I think he just he wanted to believe it that way it makes him feel better about all his in sync uh, concerts he's been going to so yeah that's all right so anyways yeah we didn't need him uh, he'd probably want to travel along if I told him where I was going you know he's didn't want to ride in a bus full of beer farts that's just yeah we don't want to do that all day so we had to leave him at home but anyways we will uh, maybe spend the weekends here keep the cows and the chickens running get this thing profitable and then uh yeah see where it goes from there but like i say we uh we showed up mrs jackie bought almost half a million dollars worth we paid for this place uh there's some other fields i saw it on a like an aerial view map she bought a couple other fields that are adjacent to the place here i'm not sure i'll have to look to find somebody in town that knows what's going on. Like I say, I just got here, so we don't know anybody yet. I don't know uh, any of the other farmers. I wonder if this 
Nope, that's owned by Mrs. Palinka. Holden Polnicka. So, hmm. yeah, I think I'm pretty sure we own some fields around here. Really just two, oh, yeah, there we go. Owned by you. There you go. All right, so we got a barley field and a wheat field. Both are ready to harvest, and that'll be good because the chickens will be the first animal that we get brought in, and uh, I think they'll be the easiest to get up and running, so we'll have something to feed them. That's pretty good. Now, we can't feed them if we don't get the wheat and the barley out of the ground, so we're going to need some equipment. We're going to have to go find somebody in the, at the bank or the store. Not even sure where I'm going, where the store is, but anyways, this is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So, uh, Jockey Inc. has never done a strictly dairy farm, so I think it's about time. Uh, like I say, first, because I am a hoarder, I'm not going to bring the cows in right away. Uh, well, I guess I could bring them in and just feed them grass. Because we're going to have to stockpile some, uh, some food for them. As of right now, the only grass field that we have is this where the cows go. So I don't want to, you know, take all their grass they're trying to graze on. Oh, there's a water trough for the cows. All right. Cool. So, yeah. So, like I say, I'm going to get the chickens up and running, get the greenhouses up and running, and then... I'm going to start mowing this. We're going to mow it a few times. We'll get some hay and some silage bales to wrap up to make some TMR. Like I say, we got I saw some straw over here. Pretty sure we can use those. Yeah, those are real bales. So, looks like quite a bit of them. So we got some straw bales. That's good. We don't have to be pressed for those right off the bat, but man, it'd be nice if we had some hay and silage bales right off the bat, too. We could just jump right into this thing. Maybe we'll ask it around at the store. Maybe there's a local farmer here that has some he wants to get rid of. That's a pretty good-sized grass field. So, yeah. There we go. Brown chicken, brown cow. I like it. Just like your favorite movies from the 70s and 80s, right? Uh, anyway, we, uh, yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to make us some milk. And some eggs. I like this place. Kinda neat. Like I say, it needs a little cleaning up and a little sprucing up here. Um, I got a plan for this side of the building. I'm hoping that it works. But I need to come in here and clean this up first. So I uh, need to go to the store and get some equipment we can work with. We need to start getting some work done here. But, um, yeah. Yeah, let me do that. Let me go see what's going on down there. See if we can uh, get up and running here. What's this place look like inside? Oh, look at that. Nice and clean. Boy, somebody did some work cleaning this thing up before they left. Nice. Hmm. I'll have to figure out what, uh, what goes where. We've seen me try to put straw in a cow pen before. That's, that's a nightmare. All right, anyways. Yeah. Here we go. I'm excited about it. Looking forward to this. So, yeah, let me run into the store. Let me start borrowing some money. That's one thing we're good at. And uh, I think my bus is coming I think tomorrow. So we got just over a day here to, to get some work done. And then we have to get back to Meadow Grove before Farmer Man gets all lonely. We don't want him to do that. And he goes full ostrich and just runs and sticks his head in the sand until somebody comes back. So... We don't need that. We got to get back to the poor guy. Um, but yeah, so and like I say, that'll give us a day. It's just before noon now, so we should be able to get quite a bit done this afternoon if we get on the ball there. I think I passed the store. Maybe that's the store right there. We passed it real close on the bus ride in here, so. Okay. Somebody needs to do some maintenance on the roads around here. They got just waist high grass these people are walking through she's gonna get her nice suit all dirty we don't want that anyways all right yep there's the store we found it perfect let me go dodge some traffic and some weeds here run through some bushes oh almost ran out and run out that would not be good anyways let me go take care of that figure out what we're gonna get we're gonna have to buy some equipment on the cheap we don't have a whole lot of buying power in this town i don't believe 
So, yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Well, that didn't take long. Um, that was a quick mm, 207,000 almost we sold. 206,000 and change. We got rid of that money real quick. So we got met our man down here at the store. His name is Tyler. Tyler Sanders, I believe. Tyler seems like a cool guy. He hooked us right up, so can't argue with that. But we spent an enormous amount of money on this right off the bat, and it may be, may be overkill. I mean, for the only couple fields that we have, we're not going to get a lot of usage out of it, but we're going to need straw for the cows on the regular, and we're going to need wheat on the regular, so we might as well take care of that. We don't want to lease. Uh, I looked into leasing these, but every time we do a harvest, it's going to be $8,000 worth of leasing cost, so... Better just go ahead and take the hit now. We'll find us a shed to put it in. Keep it nice and pretty. Oh, look at this shiny red, isn't it? Now we found this old dude. This is the opposite of brand new and shiny, but look at that. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. The old Deutz. Got a used Deutz laying around. 140 horsepower, maybe? Not too much. Not too bad. And an old water tank here. So, like I say, the first thing we're going to do... Water got its own pump on it. Look at that. We are going to take this bad boy... Look at that. Fires right up. Nice. Alright, so we're going to take this. We're going to fill it up with water. And we're going to hook the greenhouses up so we can start making a little money here on the brown chicken brown cow farm. Tractor is really loud. I forgot how loud this thing was. Whoa. Forgot how bad a driver we were. That's not good. Alright, so... They're a little farther away. Maybe it'll get a little quieter there. I have to wear my earplugs in here. I'm being here listening to the Spice Girls and jamming along. Anyways, we gotta find some water here, I believe. That when we are doing our walk around, I'm gonna have to put me an entrance in here around these bushes. Yeah. So there's this old fountain right here that feeds down and drips into the pond. I assume it's spring fed. There we go. We hooked up to it and got it pumping water in there. She's not very fast, so this might take us a while. But I tell you what. No farther than we are from the store. While that thing is taking its time, let's make a run. We can see it from here. Look at that big red beauty shining in the distance there. I think if we hop a couple fences, we'll be able to jump right over there and grab that bad boy and bring it back while the water tank is filling up. Can't forget to come in here, give some to the cows. Well, we don't have any cows, so... Yeah. So we need to get this wheat harvested. That way we can call the local uh, animal dealer in town and get him to deliver us some chickens. We have room for 500 chickens. We are not going to go with that many right off the bat. As a matter of fact, I think what we're going to do is go with 200 chickens, which is a whole lot of brown chickens. And we'll just let them populate from there till we reach our uh, capacity. So that's the plan. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, we're in it now, buddy. In the money. Look at that. All right. So yeah, we're going to get some water for the greenhouses there. Get those taken care of. We don't have any manure for them yet, so they're just going to have to go with just water. Uh, should be alright for the time being. But there was no cars coming because we didn't even look at all, did we? Not even a little bit. Anyways, i got to get this thing off the road. Watch out, buddy. See what kind of horn we get. Nah, we got a little weenie horn. Oh well. What are you going to do? Uh, let's see. I'm going to take this right. I think I can squeeze through here. Excuse me, ma'am. It is not in a hurry at all, is she? Yeah, this will be good. All right. So I'm going to take this over. At least park it beside the other tractor here. See if we're done filling up with water yet. And let's get to work. Oh, yeah. Like I say, we've spent $207,000 this morning. Uh, he said we had quite a bit of buying power left, but he didn't want to put a number on it, so <laughs> I don't think he wanted us to know exactly how much we could get. He's afraid we're going to use it right off the bat. He's probably right, so 
yeah, we're going to try to do this uh, as low-key as possible, you know, buying used tractors and stuff like this. Sounds like I got a little leak there. Oh, it is full. Nice. Could be just overflow popping off because it's full. So, yeah. Anyways, like I say, we're going to try to do this on the cheap. Um, obviously, no, no kind of big equipment. And used whenever possible. We'll go with go with some old school equipment around here. And let's see. Get this guy filled up. Tell you what, let's turn our help window on so we can see when they get full. Perfect. So at least now we're making money. However much we are making. There we go. Eventually, I want to stockpile seed, fertilizer, all that good stuff in our silos over here. We have these cool silos that can hold these things. We might as well use them and save ourselves some trip to the store. So we will see if we can get some delivered in bulk. I'm uh, missing that trigger there. A little farther than I thought. Oh, we're going to be just shy of being able to do this all in one run, aren't we? All right. That's all right. That was a good thing. Here we go. So we got four out of five filled up. Let me go put some more water back in this thing. And, wow. That is a good looking field right there. Soybeans. See, I'm going to have to look and see how much money we got left. This field is right beside the farm there. And I believe, let me swing around, I believe that it comes with this uh, little patch of woodland right here. 10 or 12 trees in there, maybe. Not very much. But yeah, I'd like to knock that out. Put us another building in there. Get those trees sold. Anyways, let me do this. There we go. Got that filling up. Ah, I was going to jump in the harvester, but... We only got one left to do, so I'll focus on that, I guess. So let me finish doing this, get this taken care of, and then I'm going to jump in the uh, case there, and we're going to get started with some wheat harvest. So, yeah. Maybe we can get us some chickens in this afternoon. We'll have to go back to the store and do a little more borrowing. I don't remember exactly how much 200 chickens were. Thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, I feel certain. Anyways, we'll take care of that later. I'll be right back. All right. Here we are, back at the store. Mr. Tyler, I said I needed something to move some pallets around, and Mr. Tyler said, hey, I got this old dude right here. Grandma only drove it to church on Sundays, he says, so uh, got low hours on it, even though it looks like it's older than myself. It's all right. It's a fine running little machine here. He also had these two egg pallets laying around back that he said we could have. Um, little display of his generosity there. So we took him up on that. We are going to take these to the chickens. Let them, we'll put the egg boxes in here and make it a little easier when we go to sell them. So we did end up getting 200 chickens in. They took almost every bit of wheat and barley that we harvested out of those two fields over there they took almost everything we were we put maybe 2,000 liters in storage so it uh not a lot not a lot in the cupboards there so we're gonna yeah we're gonna need to get those fields turned around pretty quick uh we went ahead and borrowed fifty thousand more dollars to pay for this bad boy right here um uh, he has a bucket around back too we're gonna end up picking up a bucket and a weight and that should take care of, um, you know, feeding the greenhouses here. I'm going to get some manure built up, so we'll be able to use this for that. Um, that's the plan. Like I say, we're going to try to do this with as little machinery as possible, just or money-wise at first. So, uh, that, no, I want you to stay here, please. Yeah, please stay right there. I think this thing goes... Oh yeah, that's probably the first egg box right down there. 
Maybe. Maybe it'll fill up right here. Maybe I should put... Push it over just a little. I'm not quite sure where it should be. I do not have the zone markers turned off, I don't think. Maybe the ground is just too high to see them right here. I don't think I turned them off. Where would that be? Oh, I do have them off. Ah. That's why we couldn't see it. Okay, yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, there's our first egg box right there, so at least we know we're up and running with the chickens there, making eggs. We have water in the greenhouses. Yeah, we're doing all right here. We're doing all right. So the next thing we need to do is we also, with our $50,000, we spent uh, a good portion of it. We bought a plow, so we're going to take the uh, doits down there. We'll just drop this right here. Oh no, wait, I got another pallet to grab. Yeah, let's, we don't want to start our relationship off by leaving the man's parking lot all cluttered up with junk, so. Yeah, let's go get this other egg pallet, bring it over, might as well have it here, uh, ready to fill up. And then we will jump in the doits and grab the plow. We will go ahead and plow the two fields that we just did, and might as well join them together. Uh, there's like a three foot strip in between them, so. I'm usually not a huge fan of plowing fields together, but uh, we did make that one big field on Jockey Inc. there at Woodshire, and it worked out pretty good. So this one, like I say, it's it's really one strip in between them, so it's not like there's any reason to keep them separated. We're only going to be growing one crop for the immediate future anyways. So yeah, we get kind of specialized there. But yeah, I was going through it in my head. We need a whole lot of more things, and I've already spent $300,000. So, maybe it's time to slow it down a little bit, let the items that we have make us some money. I don't like how that's pinched on there, that's not going to come off very easy, but that's alright. Yeah, anyways, like I said, make, uh, let's use what we have to make some money and instead of relying on it all off the bank to start with. So, that's kind of the plan, put in a little work here on the side, and the good thing about um, what I was trying to set up here is that we don't have to be here every day. Uh, we'll get us some part-time help to come feed the chickens every day and make sure the water is on on the greenhouses, and that's about it for now. So uh, we should be able to make money while we're not here. That is the plan, at least. And uh, yeah, so we got that going on. Like I say, this is going to be our new dairy operation. And sometime this week, hopefully, you will see a sneak peek of our next operation. Jockey Inc. is going to, uh, we're going to have an industrial division. So I'm hoping to show that off. We're going to do, it's a special place. Hopefully we get to show it off this week. Uh, just kind of waiting on the go ahead. Maybe next week, but um, yeah, pretty excited about that. We are going to go into biodiesel production. We're also going to start making some seed, maybe some fertilizer, so... Jockey Inc. is expanding. We are diversifying. And uh, like I say, I'm really excited about that one. Hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. I think you guys will appreciate that one. It's just uh, just as much as I do. I think that'll work. It should fill up right there. Uh, I guess when that one egg box fills up, the other one should start spawning in that pallet. I'm not entirely certain. But in theory, that's what it should be. There we go. Put that thing on the ground. All right. Well, there you go. I think that's it. Like I say, all I'm going to do now is go plow, uh, plow these two fields together. Oh, no, wait, I'm not. First, I got to get the straw up. Yeah. So I bought a plow that I'm not really necessary, necessarily ready for. Ooh. Hmm. Now, should I pick this up and put it into storage or should I bale it? We already have quite a few straw bales. I'm thinking maybe just picking this up loose and putting it in uh, in our silo there. I see an immediate problem. I'm going to have to purchase a chainsaw. Those things got to go. If I'm going to plow these two fields together, I don't need a birch tree in the middle of it, do I? 
So yeah, that's the only, like I say, that's the only strip separating these two fields. So mm, yeah, it's time for that to go. And it's just in the way right there. Might as well make uh, one big field out of this. So there we go. How about that? First day here on Starvice, the brown chicken brown gal farm. Up and running. All right. Well, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.